everyone and welcome to wellness mantra you must have guessed already yes today's yoga is going to be confined to the chair and i can hear you all saying hooray so this is especially for all my lazy friends and for my uh, senior friends who are not able to sit down on the floor or do very strenuous activities um, all right so let's start um, sit with your back straight on your chair see if you can get a chair without the armrest so that you have enough space to move around all right now let's do a little bit of jogging how do you sit and jog let's do this one two three one two one two one two one two keep going one two one two one two one and two now let's do a little bit of running okay one two three four five six seven well done all right now you slow down rest it out okay let's live a little bit of a hand and upper body warm-up all right so you breathe in look up breathe out and down breathe in up breathe up and down breathe in up breathe out and down now we look side to side 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 now just look at me and bring your ears as close as possible towards your shoulder feel it nice stretch along the side of your neck enjoy that stretch right in center and to the other side enjoy that stretch that you're feeling on the side of your neck and center now to this side so if you're actually watching this sneaking from your work screen and looking at the screen instead enjoy this phase where you get to relax your neck muscles a bit let's do this together and just feel relaxed I'm sure, I promise you when you go back to your work screen you'll feel a lot better all right now let's do a little bit of a hand practice so hold on to the namaskara mudra in front of your chest now we're going to take a rocket all the way up all right uh, breathe in and go and from here let it just spread to the sides so move your fingers as you do that all right so one more time breathe in and take your hands all the way up like a rocket let it fall to the sides you can imagine a firecracker that bursts in the sky so it's going all the way up and the display beautiful let's do it one more time okay breathe in and down all right this time we're going to go like a clock ticking all right so 12 o'clock now very uniquely this clock has both the arms going in two different directions but we're going to say one o'clock two o'clock three o'clock four o'clock all right so from 12 o'clock one o'clock two o'clock three o'clock four o'clock five o'clock and six o'clock one more time 12 o'clock one o'clock two o'clock three o'clock four o'clock five and six so one there you go twelve one two three so at three your hands are parallel to the ground four five six in the center one more time twelve one two three four five and six good job all right now let's just pull your hands to the center holding on to the namaskara mudra breathing in taking your hands to the side breathe out and bring them in breathe in 
synchronize your breath with your movement as you breathe in expand your hands and bring them to the side and over here let's draw circles one two three and four the other way around one two three and four a little faster one two three and four 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 very good now slowly take your hands behind see if you can hold on to the backrest of the chair and stretch your chest out breathe in pull those shoulders back you'll feel your shoulder muscles relax and thank you in a while breathe out and slowly place your hands on your lap all right now for those who are having difficulty with moving your joints it's very essential to keep your joints supple okay what do we do to keep our joints supple let's just open our palms remember doing the inside outside inside outside all right today let's just do little finger ring finger middle finger index finger one more time index finger middle finger ring finger little finger little finger ring finger middle finger index finger index finger middle finger ring finger index finger i mean little finger <laughs> all right so the fun part is when you go middle finger little finger index finger ring finger middle finger little finger <laughs> index finger ring finger so this is actually a fun game you can actually try doing at home okay uh, so if you have at least two people at your place uh, try asking the one person who is uh, watching you to say one of those fingers and you have to keep doing what they say so they suppose it's little finger and then index finger middle finger ring finger index finger little finger middle finger ring finger so it can just keep changing and as you progress try and speed up the process it'll actually help you to keep your brain a little active and it'll also help your muscle memory improve all right so that's a good exercise that you can practice at home uh, now now let's do a little bit of crunches and how do we do the crunches sitting um, let's breathe in take our hands up and as you breathe out take it to behind your head let's rest it out here try not to pull your elbows in let's keep it nice and straight to the sides now breathe in as you breathe out i want you to lift your knee and bring your elbow to your knee breathe in and out 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 stay there for a count of nine eight seven six five four three two and run Drop it down and to the other side. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop it down, keep your back straight. Please remember, don't pull your elbows in. Let those elbows stretch out. Feel your chest expand as you stay there. Slightly, slowly bend your head backwards and stretch. Gently release your hands, take it all the way up and stretch and breathe out and slowly bring those hands to the side that was nice all right now let's just give that body a twist so using the support of your chair hold on to the side of your chair if you want to use your back rest hold the back rest and turn breathe out breathe in center to the side out all right now what do we do let's try and keep our legs slightly apart okay now you now that you have the support of your chair you're not going to lose balance so be confident let's try and see how much you can move your knee, legs to the side thereby letting your hips open up a bit this can help you if you are trying to 
relax or uh, make your hip a little more flexible. All right, now sitting there, what I want you to do is slowly try and see if you can bring your thighs onto the chair and stretch out the other leg. This was the uh, Parsha Konasana that I taught in my previous classes along with the support of a chair. Now you can rest your hand on, on your thighs. Breathe in, take your hand all the way up and stay. Breathe normally, look through your fingers, stay there. You'll still feel that nice stretch along the side of your body as you stay in this asana. Enjoy that stretch. You'll feel your thoracic region expand as you stay in the sasana. Now, if you want to feel a little more challenged, and if you want to take a little, take it a little more into a challenging posture, slide your hand down and stay. All right, from here, breathe in. And as you breathe out, lower your hand and feel that nice fine stretch that your side is experiencing now. Slowly pull your hands in using the support of your chair. Slowly sit back into that chair. Now we move to the other side, resting the other leg on the chair. So put your thighs completely on the chair. Now stretch the other leg out, opening up your hip joint a bit. When you're ready, rest your elbow into your thighs and breathe in. Take your hand up all the way. Look through your fingers all the way straight. Stay there, breathe normally. If you want to challenge yourself, like I told you earlier, bring your hand down. Feel that nice extra stretch. Stay there, you're not going to fall. And breathe in as you come up. Breathe out and slide your hand down. Slowly straighten yourself and pull yourself to the center. All right, we move on to the next workout. Let's try and sit on the edge of your chair. Make sure you are seated on the chair, still having a nice grip on the chair and a nice footing on the ground. Now we're going to do a, a twist again. This is something that we usually do standing, but for beginners, this would be an exciting opportunity to try and see how the hips open up, how your shoulders stretch as you do this in a seated posture. It's a less challenging posture as you sit down and do it, but good and great for beginners. All right, so now, you, now that you have your knees almost uh, perpendicular to the ground and your thigh is almost parallel to the ground. Try and place both your hands on your thighs. When you feel strong and comfortable, I want you to lean forward and push your shoulder down, breathing out. Giving a nice, beautiful stretch to your upper back. Now, push this shoulder down and breathe out. Breathe in and come to center. Breathe out, push. Stretch it out, stretch your shoulder blades, stretch your upper back. Breathe normally in your final posture and wait. Smile, it makes it all easy. Breathe in and center. Breathe out in the side. Breathe in and come back to center. Good job, everyone. All right. Now, what can we do? Let's try and see if we can strengthen our legs a little more. Remember the act practice that we did last time? This time, we're going to put one feet on the ground and the other feet stretched in front of us. All right. Taking your hands behind your back, try and see if you can bring your forehead to your knee. 
breathe out as you do so breathe in and come up it may not be as easy as it seems I'm telling you so now place this feet on the ground stretch the other feet out this will also help you stretch out your hamstrings breathe out and go down breathe in and come back place the other feet on the ground stretch the other leg now breathe out stay there in that position and breathe normally all right guys breathe normally as you stay there keep your knees straight breathe in and come up breathe out and go down stay Breathe in and up and relax. All right, you can sit back into your chair for a moment and breathe it out. All right, what can we do next? We're going to try and pull our knees all the way into our chest. All right, make sure you have one leg firmly on the ground. Now, as we breathe in, we're going to lift our right leg all the way up into our chest. Okay, breathe in all the way into your chest now i want you to do a little bit of our ankle rotation one two three four and five the other way around one two three four and five good job everyone now forward and backward forward towards you pointing downwards upwards downwards upwards downwards upwards kick up as much as you can hold it there count for nine eight seven six five four three two and one let's bring the other leg up hold on to your knee and slowly lift it into your chest when you are here let's do the ankle rotation one two three four five six seven and eight the other way around one two three four five six seven and eight good job now pointing downwards upwards downwards upwards down and up down and up down and up good job kick it forward hold it there and say nine eight seven six five four three yes you can do it and one drop it down now it doesn't really matter if you can just lift it up this much just hold it there all right it's very essential to try and hold it there now try and see if you can grip onto the chair with both your hands and see if you can just try and push yourself up okay engaging your arms sit back all right let's do that one more time using your arms i want you to try and push yourself up and sit back one more time using your arms push yourself up and down good job everyone that was a beautiful stretch and i know that takes a little bit of an effort to do that all right now let's do a little bit of a stretching backwards now, as you sit on the chair it's not easy to stretch backwards especially with a backrest so instead of going backwards we're going to take our hands back hold our chair with the backrest and stretch the muscles Make sure you have a nice grip on your seat otherwise you have you there is a tendency that you may topple forward just like i was about to let's just breathe and pull it in breathe chest out tailbone out head back and breathe in curl it inside 
and breathe in, push your chest out and out as you come in. In and out. Last round in and out. Gently release the hands, place them on your knees and slowly come up. All right, so that was your chair yoga for today. Hope you enjoyed doing the chair yoga. It's fairly simple yet effective to keep your muscles toned. Um, if you want to add resistance to your training, you can try and use dumbbells if you have them at home. If you want, you can also use um, water bottles, maybe a 500 ml water bottle in your arms to add a little bit of a strength training at home. Uh, but even without any of these, this will actually help to strengthen and stretch your muscles. All right, so good luck practicing. Hope you had a great time practicing with me. Enjoy practicing every day. See you later. Until then, goodbye.